Are you listening? All right, what is up, guys? Um, first off, I'm using a flash because there's not enough light. Excuse me, in this room, because that light's that light's not cutting it. So I'm gonna be using my uh, flash on my camera. So yeah, you guys can see that in the reflection of the clock. Um, let me go ahead and talk about my setup update. I'm gonna take that drone. Um, my setup. So. The big main difference you could probably see is I got this desk, this proper desk. I finally got a proper desk, and I didn't pay a cent for it. I didn't pay one cent for it. So the story behind it is, or what actually how I actually obtained it was, I live right by a college. Like I live not even a thousand feet away, maybe maybe at the most two thousand feet away from Capital University. And there's always students. Um, they're always changing out their furniture, and you know, like I mean, new ones come in and old ones go out, and they're always getting rid of furniture. So. My mom stopped the car and she saw this bookshelf, and I happened to see this desk right beside, and I was like, I don't know about that bookshelf, but this desk is the nicest crap. It's big, it looks really nice, it looks like you can hold a lot of stuff, and it, it does, it holds everything. I don't have to, like, hope that some stuff goes off the edge, and I have plenty of room for my mouse space and my DJ mixer. I didn't have enough room for my DJ mixer, so it has, it has uh, pretty nice drawers. I've already got some stuff in there. And then I don't have anything in this one, and it has a um, pretty nice deep drawer. Like this is like super deep compared to the other ones. See, it's like a square versus like two small rectangles. And then um, it did have, it's supposed to have a keyboard thing, but I have a laptop, so the keyboard's right there. I don't really need it. I might get an external keyboard and just sit it up here. I have room. So, in here is where you could sit a whole entire desktop computer. Um, there's just a power brick over there at the end, and then a couple cables I have running through here. The cable management on this thing is pretty nice. Um, it has these two pockets, or these two holes that a lot of cables come in and out through, and I, I utilize them, so, you know, cable management of the gods, pretty freaking nice. Um, yeah, so, that's the desk. Um, you guys might have been wondering what this little contraption is over here. Um, okay, so... Upstairs in my room, I, I mounted this thing in the wall to hold my headphones, and it, it did work. It works. It worked nice. It was like a little, I think it was a whole flower plants or whatever, but I extended it out so it could use it and hold my headphones. But what I did is I went ahead and I used to play with, with these connect things as like a kid, um, and I was like, huh, well maybe I can build something out of that and put it on my desk. So I built like this house kind of device or this device, this house contraption, and the top part of the house. Um, holds the headphones and it you know works pretty nice so <laughs> it's something it's like, so people can be like what the heck is that thing and you know, I'm like taking these wires back in um he was like what the heck is that thing and I'm like it's just the headphone house I'm calling it the headphone house and then over here I got my laptop clocked at 2.5 gigahertz overclocked um it's on the turbo setting well no you can overclock it I think up to 3 gigahertz but I don't really I don't know like I've tried to do it and like it'll flip out around about 2.7 so I'm like okay so I think and I, I and you know I looked up online the best what you call for a laptop to be is around 2.5 so I'm happy with that right now um, down here is my laptop cooling pad that I bought from on for like $13 at Walmart or whatever it's pretty freaking decent gets the job done um, you don't need like a super fancy fan from say like a brand name like Cooler Master or anything. You can get a pretty decent fan and then overclock. But, I mean, it'd be nice to have one of those kind of fans, but you don't need it. And then over here I have my Ion Discovery DJ mixer that I use for my um, audio production. It's pretty decent. Um, actually, I'm DJ. I've actually went to a gig with this thing for a family reunion I did, and. Um, I had my speakers and everything, and you know, had the whole place jumping up and down. Actually, it seemed to pretty, it seemed to work pretty good because I was outside, and so I had uh, I had a lot of space to set up my stuff. So it was pretty nice. Um, I use the I use the knobs um, in FL Studio. I use it as a, a MIDI controller. If you don't know what MIDI is, it's M I D I um, in that program right there. So I use it as that. So I usually use it. Um, then over here you got these speakers. These are some JBL monitors. Um, I, they're not hooked up right now. Um, I'm gonna probably get like a small amp to use them for. They're pretty decent monitors when I was using them. Back when I was using them as actual monitors, they worked really nice. They had really low end. They were they're really small too, like in comparison, like say the screen. You know, it's pretty short. It's not like anything fancy, but you know JBL they make some pretty decent audio stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna pick them up. 
Um, and here I have my Samsung Sync Master. Um, see, yeah, this little light comes in handy. It wasn't picking that up. So I have the Sync Master 30, um, the 30, yeah. the 730B. Sync Master 730B from Samsung. Mm -hmm. um, has digital input. It's pretty decent. Um, gets the job done. Gets everything right. Now the only thing weird about it is that it's not. It's a. It's an HD screen, but it's a square HD screen. So as you can see, like where this would really be normally 1080p, like one of the S's is cut off right here. Like there's two S's and like part of the E's cut off. It's kind of a weird resolution, but I could I could actually run um, lower resolutions. Like I could run 720p on here, but I'm just gonna do its native resolution. Um, it does. I think it has like a 75 hertz refresh rate, but I'm not sure. I, that's what I set it to, so I'm not sure if it actually has that. Um, like, I mean, look at the comparison to the screen. Like, you can actually see part of the S on this than this. But I'm pretty sure this still has a higher um, has a higher resolution than the laptop screen, so it looks a lot better on on camera. So yeah, guys. Oh, and I, then I have my uh, I got this from on too. This is my uh, USB 3.0 hub I got from on for $20. And then I have, obviously, my little gaming piece. I love this thing. It's like a $60, $50 mouse for the Razer. Custom light up logo. It's like probably glowing. You can't really see it because the light's in the way. Um, this is a pretty nice mouse. 8,200 DPI. You can't beat it. So, yeah, guys. It's my setup. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Epic Reckless. Over and out.